Last week, for the third week in a row, we had a slow week. Slow due to the fact that we are at the finicky stage of our build, and finicky means snail's pace movement. To make things worse, we were dropped by a local floor installer guy who reckoned this was a three-hour flooring job. He was a no-show full of excuses. Fortunately, we had Mr. Reliable, a.k.a. Nicky, a.k.a. St. Nick, on hand. St. Nick's work rate is neat but slow, and slow these days makes me a nervous bunny. This week, we are expecting more of the same. It's astounding, crazy. Time is fleeting at a snort spurt, just going past. And madness is taking its toll. You work on Marai, you go a little bit bossies. But listen closely. It's not for very much longer. But until then, I've got to keep control. How many of you folks were like hoing with the tune there? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, welcome to another episode of Marai. Um, Hopefully this week we're uh, going to get around to closing up our driver's cab. A big, big, big setback is Nikki is ill again. So all work is stopped on the floor. Everything. And uh, we are busy looking at our options because we need it done and we need it done soon, man. But uh, let's see what the guys are up to. I think that is Chris who's just ruined the end of my opening link. Let's see what he's doing. Markiplier and Chris is busy finishing off our in-cab heating and cooling system. A lot of focus is now on the whole airflow, air conditioning, connecting of all these pipes. And it is a finicky, iffy, iffy job. And that's what Chris is busy doing now. He's busy creating all the little channels, uh, the little flaps that you move to get air from outside to recirculate inside. So yeah, it is really finicky and Time consuming, very time consuming. As with so many parts in our build, the flaps that direct and change airflow are handmade from scratch. In our build, there are no electronically operated switches for our heating and cooling system. It all works off good old cabling. Another part of our airflow system is this leather covered panel which goes between the dash and the windscreen. And you can see uh, Brahma's put the vents in. Um, and put a trimming around all that and this is for my demisting system for the windscreen. While Chris slogs along completing the airflow system, further back in Marai, the floor area is whimpering for some attention. The overhead cladding on the storage bins is also being ignored. This is really eating me up. After three days of no movement on the floor, Brahm pulled a big furry rabbit from the hat. It's a Thursday morning and uh, yeah, the week is just flying by. Um, things are going slowly on our build. They really are. One of the biggest handbrakes is uh, Nikki is still ill. So there's been no work up until today on the inside of the vehicle. And we've got a man by the name of Frick and his two guys who are gonna help us install the floor and do the uh, installation of the paneling on the overhead lockers. Uh, Frick's a man who uh, installs the flooring in these reconditioned VW Combi camper vans and he's got a lot of experience so, and he was here on time. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do for us. Frick has brought two guys with him and he reckons they will be done by the end of the day. I can see that these blokes know what they are doing and they move along at a fast steady pace. While the overhead cladding is happening at the rear, the floor has been installed midships. I had purchased extra PVC flooring to make sure we had enough to do all the work inside Marai, including covering the area around our TV box. It was that TV box that would provide this week's drama. While I was showing the guys where we wanted to put the overhead uh, cladding, I made a boo-boo, uh, which is a mistake that I'm glad it was made now, not later. I opened the TV storage box and it just blitzed them down 
If the windscreen was in, we would have had a shattered windscreen right now, but uh, the box is broken, so we're actually going to rethink this whole TV uh, system. Uh, it's, it's not working for me and it doesn't really look nice. We have spent hours on this TV box, so what do I do? I make the call to get rid of the damn thing. We remove the 32 inch smart TV and I'm already working out where its new home will be. Okay, the TV has now been taken out and I mean, you know, I know <laughs> over the weeks I've, we've spent a lot of time on this little box, but I just think this is the right move. Um, I think it's just going to look better. We're still going to have a TV, it'll just be above what you see there. It'll be stored above, it'll slide out and drop, drop down sort of over here. So, yeah, just glad it happened now. After an hour or so, the area that used to house the TV box is starting to look awesome. This may just have been a blessing in disguise regarding the aesthetics of the driver's cab. Most of the flooring material is already in place and the skirting is now being installed. The overhead cladding that gave Nikki a few headaches looks fantastic. And now the area where the TV used to be looks so much better with cleaner, more stylish lines. And Frick and his guys are done. That was full day's work, but we are back on track. The floor is laid, all the cladding is in place in the overhead lockers. So I am a happy boy. We are back on track and we've caught up with that. A um, few little things inside that we're going to have to touch up, but uh, otherwise they did a really good job. So yeah, I'm chuffed. The floor really does look stunning. Moving over to the PVC flooring was the best move ever. Frick and his team have saved the day. Now work can shift to the driver's cab floor area. The flooring in the cab will consist of two layers of rubber that will be placed over the already in place acoustics material. This will give us a good 6mm of insulation and soundproofing once installed. Work on the interior finishes has been ramped up a notch. Aubrey the pineal clopper has been pulled in to help install our seats. Markiplant Chris is busy finishing off our table, which also forms the base of a second bed. Brahm is pulling out all the stops to make sure he meets the deadline he has given us. It is a Saturday morning and uh, yeah, filming is done for the week. Another one of those weeks where slow progress, we call it slow progress, but you can see all the finishes are happening and uh, yeah, Ram is absolutely convinced he will meet his deadline, which is now going to be the 28th of July. So yeah, um, I'm very chuffed with what I've seen. Um, as I say, blessing in disguise that that box fell off with a TV in it. I think it's what we've got now. Looks much better. And um, yeah, next time we chat, hopefully there will be seats in there and we can show you the seating position because we need that to get the gear shift and everything done. We can, uh, we started with me being interrupted by Chris as I do a link and we're gonna close on it. So uh, let's meet again next week and let's do this time warp again. Until then, look after yourselves, look after your families and keep safe. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You will find us under A Dream Called Mirai. Until next time, keep your dreams alive.